Did you see the thing that I had DM'd you before? N- no, I don't think oh. I did. All right, so let me lay the scene for you. A couple years, or yeah, I guess like two years ago, uh, we started to see the NOS popping up in the rap oh, scene a lot more. Right, okay. So all of a sudden, uh, a bunch of different rappers, like Gunna, and I mean, it's, it's been around, obviously, like people who know people who are really into drugs been a pretty common part of the drug user lifestyle for a long time but all of a sudden you started to see rappers just walking around posing with the canister doing little dances with the canister on top of their head and shit like that and so i made a whole youtube video about this trend unfolding and then uh and you were like one of the main reference points where i was like basically a lot of us didn't really know much about this shit besides that steve-o had a whole fling with it Sure. And, and dude, I was completely unaware of that. And had I seen it, I, I'm sure I would have responded. Um, if anyone isn't aware of what you're talking about, NOS being nitrous oxide. Right. Which um, is used by dentists to kind of sedate people during uh, dental procedures. Right. That's the medical grade nitrous oxide. But then they have like crappy uh, car nitrous oxide right to like soup up supercars and then they use it in starbucks to uh, make whipped cream that's why it's called whippets and this is why so many people are able to continue to get their hands on it it's, right it's not like they can just outlaw it because it's used in all kinds of valid forms right right you don't you don't want to inhale the auto stuff <laughs> that the automobile stuff is is uh filled with all kinds of gnarly stuff really um the uh the Starbucks kind that they make the whipped cream with, I, did, I don't think that's medical grade, but it's better. Right. And that's where, where you can get it in every smoke shop. And Right. Yeah, because when did. I was a kid, we would do the, the whippets out the whipped cream can or whatever. Yeah, I used to buy cases of boxes of those uh, whippet cartridges. And um, it was a 24 uh, cartridges per box and like... I think 25 boxes for, per case, so it was like 600. I've I seen think. rappers blow through a whole box, like recording a verse. Like oh, a, yeah. Like a, a, a two minute verse that takes them 20 minutes to record, and by the end of it, the whole box is gone. And that's oh, when yeah. I realized, like, oh, yeah, this is a real problem. Right. For, for, dude, for sure. I, I, I would do my best to not even inhale air. You know, mm. I would have like two of the cartridges thing. So I'd fill them both up. I'd be inhaling one while I was filling the other, going back and forth and breathe in nothing but nitrous oxide. Right. And my goal would always be to uh, do it until I lost consciousness, which is called um, fishing. Right. You, know, you actually like, I guess you just starve your brain of enough oxygen that you just fall unconscious. How long were you in love with this beautiful woman? Ah, uh, man. I mean, the, the, I was introduced to it like as far back as 1993. But it's, it's casual for a while, and then at some point it just becomes this I habitual would, thing. I would go in and out of uh, kind of like, uh, what, what do you call it, phases right. with it. Um, when it got really, really gnarly, would have been... Well, I mean, I guess it got pretty gnarly right when I moved out to California when I first had some money. Right. I would... Uh, I, it, was, it was so crazy. When I moved out here um, and, and could have gotten an apartment, but I, I, I didn't. And it became this uh, competition between me and Chris Pontius, uh, a.k.a. Party Boy from, right. from Jackass. You were the, feeding off each other? Well, we were. We had a competition to see who could stay homeless the longest. Ah. And it was just, just for a laugh. You're and mostly staying with girls or sleeping on friends' couches idea. and shit. That was the idea. The the uh, you know the goal was to just find a different girl to stay with every single night. Right. And and never get uh, an apartment. Now they call um, it being hobosexual. <laughs> I like that. It's like a real term. <laughs> Dude, that's a great term. I think. Um, I uh, folded the quickest. I, I had a, a real drug habit, and, and it didn't make sense to be, like, always looking for a place to stay. When you're a drug user, you need a drug den. Yeah, I, I needed a drug den. But so Pontius won that competition by a lot, and, and he went on to record MTV Cribs out of his car. Wow. Like, he was like, dude, it was the funniest 
crib segment ever. He says, uh, he says, I hang this uh, this cross by my mirror, not because I'm religious, but because it it's a deterrent to criminals. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.